Hi there and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke and in this video we're going to be having a look at the Neo Flash. What is the Neo Flash might you ask? The Neo Flash essentially is a bunch of RGB LEDs set out in a matrix. A matrix of 8 rows of 24 LEDs, a total of 192 LEDs. Aside from an LED matrix, the Neo Flash also has a PIR sensor built in. In this week's lesson, we're going to learn how to control the LEDs and also how to trigger them with the PIR sensor. First, let's see how to hook up the M5 stack to the Neo Flash. The longer cable plugs into port A. This will control the NeoPixels. The shorter cable plugs into port B. This will control the PIR unit. Let's get started in programming this device in UIFlow. RGB LEDs, sometimes known as NeoPixels, are a unit. Let's go into the Units tab and add some RGB LEDs. We'll choose port A and make sure we add 192 LEDs in the drop down list. Let's drag NeoPixel all RGB color. First we're going to set it to black which means that all the LEDs will be turned off when we reset the device. First we want to experiment with a dimming and brightening loop. So we're going to use the repeat from the loop section and we'll just leave it at its default of 10. Now we'll set all of the LEDs to the color that we want. I'm going to choose red. And now for dimming we're going to use the brightness block. In order to dim the LEDs we'll need to change this number. But this number here is static. We're going to need to create a variable in order to differ the brightness level of the NeoPixels. So for every iteration of the loop, this variable that we create will change by 1. Let's create a variable and call it brightness. Now we can drag that into the block. And on the setup, we'll set it to 1. And then we'll add the change brightness by 1 block in here. And we'll also need to add a delay to make sure that we see the effect. I'm going to use the weight block from the timer section and set it to 0.05 seconds. Now this will increase the brightness, but we also need to decrease the brightness. So we'll copy this loop and simply change change brightness by 1 to change brightness by minus 1. If we wanted to repeat this dimming brightening pattern over and over again, we could stick it in the regular loop. Now we're going to start to program the PIR functionality. Let's drag a loop down below these two repeat blocks. And then we'll also grab this RGB set NeoPixel block. Here we have the red, green, blue values set at 0. But we can change these from 0 up until 255, which is their maximum value. Now we're also going to need an if condition from the logic section. Let's grab this if do else block and drag it into the loop. Now to add the PIR, we again go into units, select PIR, make sure we set the port to B, and then click OK. Now if we look in the unit section, we can see one block, get PIR status. This will tell us whether the PIR is triggered, if it's a 1, or if it's not triggered, it will be a 0. Now we'll drag that block in and also get a comparator block from the logic section. So if get PIR status is equal to 1, then we will change the LEDs. As a simple test, we're going to light one LED each time the PIR is triggered and set it to a random color and brightness level. So in maths we'll find random integer from 0 to and change it 0 to 255 and then for 
red, green and blue sections will repeat that, dragging it into each block. I will also need a little bit of a delay. So let's duplicate our timer block, drag it into the do section and set its time to 2 seconds. For the LEDs to be changed individually, we'll need to create another variable. Let's create this variable and call it LED. And then we're going to set it into the near pixel from to area. And then we'll set its value to change by 1 every time the PIR is triggered. Now maybe we want to clear all of the LEDs that are lit up. We can do this simply by in else dragging an if block. Then we can use the obtain button A pressed. And then set NeoPixel brightness to zero and set all of the NeoPixel colors to black. And then we'll also set it so that our LED value goes back to 1. Let's have a quick test. Okay, that's all for today's lesson. Make sure to leave us a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.